Francis Ha, directed by Noah Baumbach, is about the friendship between Francis and Sophie. In the beginning of the film, to show just how close they really are, Francis and Sophie are almost always together in the same shot. Even when it doesn't seem so, the camera finds a way of connecting them somehow. Except for these shots, but I'll get back to those later. The friendship starts to change when Sophie tells Francis, I want to move into this car with Lisa. Baumbach visually emphasizes this by having Sophie step out of the frame, leaving Francis all alone. After Sophie moves out and Francis moves into a new apartment, they decide to spend the entire day together. At least, that's what Francis thinks. They're both in the same shot until... I have plans with Patch tonight, I told you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I texted that to you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Then, Baumbach cuts to an over-the-shoulder shot of Francis, suggesting a little distance between her and Sophie. They meet up after Francis' dance show. The over-the-shoulder setup continues, but it gets even worse for Francis because Sophie is sharing her frame with her boyfriend, Patch. <laughs> While Francis is once again all alone. This sort of setup also continues into the next scene, when we're all getting some drinks. We'll get a bottle of your most expensive vodka for the table and then all of the stuff that comes with it. Well, mostly Francis. Yes? Sophie, come with me. Where? Bathroom. Really? We're still doing this? Francis and Sophie are having an argument and it's almost as if Francis is forcing Sophie to stay in the two shots. A desperate attempt. I'm going, you fucking sit down. Again, Sophie and Patch and Francis. Sophie and Patch, Francis. After this fight, Francis and Sophie don't see each other for a while. Francis goes to visit her parents and Sophie does something crazy. Japan. Japan? Yeah, they're, they're moving to Japan in a couple of weeks. This results in Francis doing something drastic. I think I might be going to Paris this weekend. Really? While in Paris, Francis gets a call. Hello? Francis? Sophie, oh my god, hi! Of course, they're not in the same shot because they're both in totally different places. After her Paris adventure, Francis goes back to her old college to work for the summer, where she runs into Sophie. Francis finds out that Sophie's engaged? <clears throat> They have a conversation, but despite being together after all this time, they're still not together in the same shot. In the next scene, Sophie's kinda drunk. Your grandpa was a cheating Nazi! But she and Francis are finally back in the same frame, although it's a long shot. After that, the over-the-shoulder setup returns. But things really start to improve when Sophie decides to spend the night in Francis' room. They're together again and in the same shot. They're talking about the future, but when Francis says, Maybe we'll move back to New York at the same time and we'll be like women who rediscover themselves after a divorce. Baumbach cuts to a close-up of Francis, and then a close-up of Sophie. Maybe they're both realizing that things won't turn out the way they wanted to. Strangely, after all this, Francis does seem to get her act together. She takes an office job at the dance company and she choreographs her own dance routine. At the first performance, all of her friends have gone to see it. Sophie's there too, but they're not together in a two-shot. It's even better because Frances finally seems to have found what she's always wanted. I want this one moment. You look across the room and catch each other's eyes, but, but not because you're possessive or it's precisely sexual, but because that is your person in this life. But has she actually found it or has it always been there? Who knows and who cares? Frances seems happy and that's enough for me.